everyone, Soundwave884 coming to the Transformers review. And this review, take a look at Super 7's reaction figure, Grimlock. This is a 3 and 3 fourths inch figure. And I got this figure from EntertainmentEarth.com. I will leave a link to this figure and to the other two I show off in this video down in the description below. Now the reaction figures are figures that are trying to go for the old Kenner style. It's very retro, very nostalgic, and very... Uh, much like the old Kenner figures of the early 80s, like the Star Wars figures. These figures have limited articulation, pretty much it's just uh, the shoulders, maybe the head can turn, and then the legs can kind of go out to the front and the hips. Don't really have any kind of back movement. It's very much like these Star Wars figures of old. So we'll just bring this in and take a closer look. It's done very much in the old style. I'll come back and ask for a little more. Styling of like the old uh, retro Star Wars figures and everything as well. You have the silver outline reaction sort of done like the old Kenner logo. Uh, the old G1 Transformers logo. I really like that. I love, love the card art on these things. That's probably one of my favorite parts of these figures. It's just the beautiful artwork on the cards. I've kept all the cards because I love the artwork on... 99.9% .9 of these. There are some, I think, the art, uh, like, some part of it is kind of wonky, but it's usually one of the best things of the whole the whole experience of buying these figures. Now, I turn to the back, and see this is part of Wave 2, where we got Alpha Trion, Grimlock, Skyfire, Mirage, Astrotrain, Rumble, Shockwave, and Shrapnel. Now, I have, I have Astrotrain, Shockwave, I have Grimlock. I don't have any of the others. 22, I need Skyfire, Mirage, Alpha Trion, Rumble, and Shrapnel. Now, I have all of Wave 1, which is Bumblebee, Jazz, Prime, Megs, Starscream, and Soundwave. Now, Wave 3, I think I got most of that. That was like the 6-inch Devastator and uh, some other figure. I can't think. I think Blitzwing and Dirge and some other ones like that. So, this is the Grimlock. And they're sort of based on the animation models. And I would say the way they are done, because they're going for that old nostalgic toy feel, they kind of lean a little more to like the ACOM style of animation because they're a little bit like oversized heads and more cartoony in proportion. All right, stuff. so straight out of the package, here is the Grimlock figure. Things you get with it, of course, you get his uh, sword, which is done in red, very much like the G1 toy. And you have his weapon here, his rifle, his blaster, which again is done very much in the right aesthetics. So we just take the weapons and you can place them in either hand, swords, guns. They can go in either one here. Mm, there we go. So he is armed to the teeth, ready to attack the Decepticons. Overall paint job is done pretty good i do have one little nick right there but otherwise it's not bad on the figure uh very clean very you know cartoon like look they're going for very simplistic articulation you get the arms up to here you're not going any further back because of the backpack but just have good range of movement he's got shoulders there's no elbows or anything hips can go out to here in the front of his legs i guess i can say uh back you can't go back at all there's no back movement but both legs can go way out to the front uh there's no side to side or no waist anything like that head can 360 around and that is your articulation head sculpt very very uh cartoon i like that a lot and so far looking at him i think he's one of the better looking figures from the uh, reaction figures of the transformers I just think overall he just looks really, really good. I'll put him down right here and we'll compare him with Optimus Prime Super 7. Uh, I think, like I said, I think the Grimlock figure just looks a little bit better overall than the Optimus Prime figure does. But it's not bad. Very nice plastic. Uh, it's not like, like going to snap on you unless you really put some force going on there. Especially with the limited articulation and it being pretty solid in the plastic. There's no hollow bits or anything. You're not really going to be tearing anything up. They do have peg holes on the bottom of their feet so you can put them on some stands. And I'll bring in the 6 inch Devastator to show you how the he will scale next to the Grimlock. So Grimlock, we got to raise the camera up so we can see. So, not really the perfect scale, like the cartoon scaling they want to go for, the Sumbo scale chart, but it is still a decent scale. Devastator is not overly oversized, and Grimlock is a nice size next to him. So, yeah, that is your Super 7 reaction figure Grimlock. Not very much articulation, but it's a nice looking figure. Now, these retail for around $18, so some people might think a little pricey, 
especially for a transformer that doesn't transform. I know some people have that state. They need a transformer to transform. Uh, this is pretty much like the nowadays versions of Action Masters that are that size. I'd say the red line from Hasbro is more or less the modern day highly detailed Action Masters. Now these figures are a little bit higher in price because Super 7 is not a huge toy company. And it's like a little niche market. You know, they're not making as many of these figures. So, so it is a very nice figure. I do like these a lot. They very much remind me of the cartoon and stuff. So I am into collecting these regardless if they transform or not. Because I'm into the characters more so than just the ability to transform. I want to say thanks for watching. Until the next ones. Peace out.